What is up guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I am a cybersecurity professional and college student. And um, on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity college certifications and internships. And today I'm going to be specifically talking about how I studied and passed the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam, which is the foundational um, or entry level um, AWS certification uh, for anyone who is interested in cloud um, and things of that sort. So. I passed this exam at exactly 4.18 a.m. this morning. It's currently 6 a.m. Um, and I just um, completed, um, just finished writing a blog about it. So I just figured I would um, do a video about how I studied and passed the exam, of course. So um, this exam actually covered a couple of bases for me. Um, actually, I had to do it for um, my course at WGU. So um, there's a Cloud Foundations course and the Cloud Foundations course requires that you take the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam um, to fulfill the requirement for the course. Um, there's also a requirement for uh, my current job role, so it covers that. Um, and um, also, I've been wanting to learn more about AWS um, after I had previously done the Azure Fundamentals exam um, after working with Azure for a long time um, in my internship. So if you've not watched the video about how I passed the Azure Fundamentals, I'll leave a link to it, a card somewhere up here, uh, somewhere on the left or on the right. Um, so um, this is my first um, ever AWS exam. Um, I, have, I do not have much experience with AWS. I just recently started working with AWS related type security stuff. So this is like really my first ex uh, major experience with AWS. During the course of my study, I was able to get some hands-on experience with you know the AWS management, management console, um, a couple of um, services and different things like that. So let me just like leave all that aside and just kind of go over how I actually studied for the exam and how I passed the exam. So I th today is um, Friday, so I actually started to study for this exam last week, Monday. So about uh, 10 days, it should be about 10 days or 12 days. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, I got 12 days. So uh, it took me about 12 days to study for this exam. And overall, I guess my 35 to 40 hours of studying, not something that you want to really um, be scared of or anything like that. Um, so number one resource I used was uh, Neil Davis uh, Udemy course. And uh, this was a really great uh, course. Um, I found this course through like different recommendations from people who had used this course um, um, from YouTube videos I watched or Reddit um, posts I read. And the course was highly recommended. So I got the course. Um, I also used uh, Stefan uh, Merrick's course on Udemy, which is also a really great course. And I'll go into details about um, how these courses were. So Neil Davis's course was a really great way to start off my studying, you know, um, because the course really takes you on an in-depth journey into, you know, how AWS works on the foundational level. Um, and it go goes over things that are required for the exam as well um, as a little bit more. So some extra stuff um, here and there, but it was really great to have a really wide overview of um, what to expect and, and what to know about AWS. So that's what was really the great thing about um, Neil Davis course. Um, another thing that was great about it was it had summary, section summary. So um, after each section, he would pretty much go over everything he had talked about in the section and then, um, you know, just kind of give you a summary about that. And then um, a quiz after each section. Um, and also he had one free practice exam with the course. Uh, second course I used was Stefan Merrick's course. Um, really, really great course. I really like his teaching style and I like the way it's more consolidated for the exam. Um, it's just like everything you need to know for the exam. If it's not going to be an exam, he really didn't touch on it. So everything that was going to be touched on the exam was what it really focused on. And he also had these uh, section summaries um, that he went over. Both courses had hands-on labs uh, sections. So part, as part of the, the videos, um, the uh, course instructors had um, labs uh, where they actually went through the services, you know, in the, in the AWS Management Console, how to configure services and, and different things like that. So I made sure to actually perform those labs with the instructors when they were doing them uh, so I can really reinforce the learning and um, really, really understand um, how to use the AWS console and uh, not just, you know, watch the course. The, the hands-on labs really, really help with reinforcing the learning. So I made sure to do those hands-on labs uh, alongside um, the instructors when they were doing them. So I highly, highly recommend you do those, do those um, labs while you're going through the, 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 the course, the courses, um, create a free AWS account and, you know, just go through it. Um, the great thing about it is uh, before you start the labs, they make sure you set a, a billing alarm so that in case you go over a certain threshold, you get an email letting you know, hey, you're going over 
your billing threshold so um that way you don't you know get overcharged for uh the different services you're using and and and, and great thing is aws has a, a free tier where you might not even have to pay anything for any of the resources that you will be using so definitely 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 uh take advantage of that um because that that way you're able to like actually put these things into practice and really get a feel of how um, all of these things um work together and um after using those two udemy courses i went ahead to use um free code camps youtube video um so this youtube video is actually about three hours um and it was really it's really really condensed really really um consolidated specifically for the exam it doesn't go over anything that's not in the exam so um, i really liked it um it, it was released last year it's a little bit outdated but it's still very relevant for the exam so um, i recommend it if you're trying to have like a really good summary of what the exam what, uh, what is covered in the exam um, just like a final study, um, you know, just use that course because it goes over uh, all the domains covered by the exam. Last thing I did after that was I, I went back to the Udemy courses and I went over each of the exam crams and also the um, section summaries from both um, Neil's course and Stefan's course uh, just to go over the summaries of, of, of each section over again without going over the whole course. So that really, everything just like, you know, recycling information in my head really kept the information fresh uh, for me. And then after that, I, I did the uh, practice exam, the free practice exam in Neil's course and the free practice exam in Stefan's course. Blew over some things I was missing now, did a little bit of revision. And then finally, I used Neil's, uh, Neil Davis' uh, Udemy practice exam. That was the only practice exam I used. So in this practice exam course, um, he had six practice exams and I, ha I did only four out of those six practice exams. And I, my scores ranged from, um, respectively, they ranged from the low, uh, the higher 70s to the higher 90s. So as I was studying, um, I was looking at things I wasn't uh, getting right, revised, do another practice exam, revised, did the, the, did the third practice exam, and revised, did the fourth practice exam. Um, I really, I pretty much, I would say I, I got tired. I, I got tired of doing practice exams um, because, you know, it, it's kind of, you know, very 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 redundant um doing you know those practice exams um i did i did them once so um it gets redundant when you're doing these practice exams over and over again after doing those four i was like you know I'm, I, I think i'm good i think i have a really solid grasp of what to expect in the exam and i went ahead and took the exam and um, the exam was i took the exam from home it was a 65 question exam and you are allocated one hour 30 minutes for the exam um so it took me about um just a little under 30 minutes to finish the exam um it was relatively easy um i think it's something that um it's it, it's a relatively easy easy exam. easy exam i'm just gonna keep it at that um, so if you put in the time and effort to study you you're definitely gonna be able to to pass the exam so that was pretty much my experience with the exam um, this is my very first aws exam it's not my first cloud exam but like I said, it's my first AWS exam and I, I will be taking more AWS exams. I definitely will be taking the um, AWS Systems Administrator exam. It's part of my degree plan, so I'll be taking it. And then um, hopefully after that, I'll be taking the AWS Security Speciality exam um, because I'm uh, specifically focused on the security aspects of AWS. And I also will be working on some AWS um, labs projects on my own and also trying to do some labs. Um, I'm, I'm looking at some different labs and providers um, um, a cloud a cloud guru with labs i'm trying to decide on which one I, I eventually want to choose to just practice labs and stuff um, but i will be working on my own personal um aws project uh, just to really build my skills um with you know using aws and getting more familiar with it but yeah that was my experience with the aws certified cloud practitioner um i hope all these resources are are, are going to be beneficial to you um i will leave a link to all of them in the description i also leave a link to the blog i wrote about how i passed the exam so if you are looking to read that, um, I, I will leave it in the description as well. Um, so yeah, once again, um, that was how I passed the exam. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found value in the video and I hope these resources help you when you eventually are going to be taking your AWS uh, Cloud Practitioner exam. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about the exam, please be sure to um, you know leave a comment or join my Discord um, server, Cyborg Academy. I'll leave a link to that also in the description. I'm always willing to help and you know ask your questions about whatever it is um, regarding the exam or anything related to cybersecurity or anything that I have any knowledge of. So uh, be sure to take advantage of that res uh, resource. So yeah, thanks once again for watching the video. I will see you in the next video.